Redo of Healer is the newest anime everyone's apparently upset about. It glorifies some really nasty stuff we'll talk about later. In fact, if you're not comfortable hearing about topics that rhyme with crepe or grape, it's a good idea to tune out now. I'll see you next week. But even more importantly, what's truly wrong about Redo of Healer is how... Mm, stupid this anime is and how we've all just accepted that because something is shocking and tries something different that means it's good i don't know much i talk about anime for a living and i still crack under a bridge but i do know that this is some bullshit if you disagree with that watch the video and hopefully i make you laugh anyway i've been asked to talk about this constantly and don't really feel like thinking too hard so i'm just gonna poop my opinion out there and retell the story for those of you who haven't seen it yet The show stars Kiaru, a guy who, in a world of mythic heroes, is granted the healer class. There's other classes, like people who use swords or magic, but the healer class heals people using healing magic. So anyways, his cum is like steroids and everybody wants it. Mmm, gimme gimme, and drug him up for years to use him as a breeding stud by getting him so addicted to drugs that he has no choice but to listen to them to get his drugs. And before you ask, no. This isn't the stupid part yet. One day, after years of being their S-word slave, he gains a drug resistance ability that lets him wake up and be like, Hey, you guys said this was Denny's! And remembers everything. He wasn't at Denny's. He was getting his cheeks blasted for four years. So he does the only reasonable thing. He lets it happen for another couple months for good measure. Then, after his companions are killed, finally he unleashes his powers of super speed, strength, and uh, teleportation. That's healing magic. After defeating the Demon King, he gets an artifact to increase his magic power and uses healing magic to heal the world and reverse time. So he returns to the past, and to get his drug resistance stat early to prevent this whole part, he shoves a bunch of shrooms at his mouth and trips in the forest. He's then escorted to the castle to meet the king, because he's a healer now. And the king's all like, Good. Um, fuck, what did the king say? Get this guy some water. He's a healer. The king is happy that he's a healer, so everyone's like, cool. And then Kiaru's like, cool, so we don't have to do the whole slavery thing? And the king's like, ooh. Your bedroom will be on the right. Kiaru tries to get some sleep after talking to everybody and one of the maids busts in because remember how I told you his seed is magic? Yeah, his semen allows people to break through their level cap because uh, of course it does. The maid busts down against his will but luckily he uses healing magic to absorb XP from the people that break into his room at night because of course he can. The next day the princess of the kingdom is like, heal the swordsman chick! So he heals her and goes We then find out that he gets to steal skills from people when he heals them. So now he's a master swordsman, because of course he is. This is all building up to a very stupid climax, I promise. The princess starts talking shit about him in his sleep. Oh, he can only heal people's arms and stuff. He's useless. Give him heroin. But what she doesn't know is that the hero is actually awake during all of this. He's calculated their every move with complete accuracy. The hero summons all of his wits, all of his knowledge to draft an unbeatable plot to not let them steal his ass. He's gonna let them for six months. <laughs> this is what's called checkmate. Wait, what? Why are we doing this? He claims he needed to go through the yes honey treatment for six months so he could steal people's experience while he healed them, but couldn't he like... Not. If he knew the princess would do this to him for being useless, why did he adamantly refuse to heal anybody in this scene? Even if it fails, he loses nothing. Would it not be more useful to show that you're a great service to the heroes and then steal experience from the most powerful people on the planet? Yes, that would actually make too much sense. We need to show the viewer that these people are over the top crazy lunatics to justify this next scene. This is the one that pissed everybody off. He sobers up after six months and he can finally strike back and escape, so he waits a couple more days for good measure and disguises himself as a knight to request an audience with the princess. When he's in private with her, he begins his revenge by breaking her fingers one by one. If she screams, she gets the pipe. If she's silent, she can go. I don't know how much of this I can show, but it's pretty fucked up and weirdly satisfying, kind of like those slime videos with the ukulele music. It stops being weirdly satisfying after this line. <laughs> Oh, 
As you can see here, they're clearly dancing. There's some ushy gushy sound effects and a lot of screaming like it's the fucking jellyfish jam. The whole three minutes is pretty uncomfortable and detailed. It's genuine hentai. To wrap this up, he brainwashes her into losing her memory and changes her face so that they can run away from the kingdom together and be in a loving relationship after he got done wrestling her. That's what we're gonna call the R word. It's all much less tame than I'm making it sound, chock full of him being abused in horrible ways. I just gotta keep this family friendly. There's a lot to talk about with that story, but I'm gonna let this section do the talking. By far the best thing to come out of Redo of Healer are the reactions. Holy fuck, it's a war zone out there. You got the babies. I'm 13 and this doesn't phase me. Hentai is my life. And me and my boys share codes. What you gonna do? Holla my mum? There's no point in watching hentai if you can't come. I can come, bitch. The edgelords. She f***ing deserved it. I would f***ing mutilate her over and over again. F he should have done so much more to her. You are very, very, very retarded. More edgelords. As someone who is well versed in wickedness, drenched in evil and vile to their core, I must say the worst thing he did to her was erase her memories. Your memories are the core of- Cuck f Just say you're a little bitch and leave. Nobody will care once you stop watching because you can't handle an animated show. I'm going to hell for this. There's a special place in hell for us. It's called a throne. One downvote. The philosophers. Human morality isn't that complex. There are few differences over time in regions, but morality almost have a similar base. He look at slavery. Slavery existed in the world for thousands of years. How every morality dictated around the world that though someone was a slave, there were limits. And whatever the hell this conversation is. MC gets tortured. Lib sh Meh. Who cares? MC does the same thing to a girl. Lib Re Cancel it now! What stupid logic you got? I have found you, Joe Biden. It's also very, very easy to find complete polar opposites in the reaction community. This has got to be one of the most divisive pieces of media I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, sounds okay. This man just slap her with his pee pee. <laughs> but the one thing I haven't been able to find are these libtard snowflakes everyone's talking about. I just see a bunch of paranoid schizophrenics. Why is this rated so low? It's the SJW, or the feminists, remember? We should tick off these Twitter whistles to have such a meltdown. Uh, this guy, I don't even know what's going on with this guy. And why are people trying to cancel this anime? I think it's a good anime with great reason for what he's doing. All these snowflakes out there can F off and find a more vanilla anime. There are so many of these comments that I'm not showing, and so I went digging. This show was so goddamn hyped. Constant comments on my channel to check it out. Hundreds of comments about it being ragged on. Apparently TikTok is where the show is being canceled. I made a TikTok account just for this, and I can't seem to find a single big video trashing the show. I did find one chick that made a negative video. She said, hey, if you have problems watching this type of content, just don't watch it. I tried it out and regretted it. That's it. Very respectful, didn't urge people to dislike vomit, nothing. From what I saw during my scroll, as I probably put on screen, no one is trying to cancel this show, it's mostly memes. So I went deeper. I went to where the blue-haired girls with Xanax addictions love to pretend to be upset about things. Twitter. And a simple search of Redo of Healer shows me nothing. Just memes. Everyone is mutually laughing about how crazy the show is. I even checked again a day later and the only thing that changed is some girls cosplaying as one of the characters. I'm not saying there aren't people upset about the show, of course there are. But you have to dig to find them. There isn't some big ass conspiracy against the show, people just don't like it. And believe me, I really wanted to make a video talking about how it's stupid to try to cancel a Japanese cartoon as if some office is going to be like, Oh, the 19 year old white girl from Ohio is offended. Shut it down, boys. That's really funny. I, I really wanted to respond to these people. They're just not there right now. It's cringe to me that the most common thing I see in discussions is that this anime is great and the only reason someone could dislike it is because they're snowflakes. Or they could dislike it because it's... Now, man to man, I want you to tell me if this is good writing. When he meets the king, he goes by Kiaru. But when he goes into hiding and disguises himself, he changes his name to Kiaru Ga. I want you to tell me if that's good writing. Okay, so healing magic lets you absorb the knowledge and skills of whoever you're trying to heal and everyone in the world thought healers were useless. That's what you're telling me. You're also telling me that magic can heal the world, change your appearance, and one-shot enemies. No. 
because none of that involves healing. Don't call it healing magic if you're just gonna make shit up as soon as you want the character to do something cool. That's not good writing, that's improv. So let's talk about why the show is so lacking in my opinion. The whole anime is just ex what the fuck, Windows Protector? The whole anime exists just to be brutal revenge wish fulfillment, which by itself would be fine if the show had literally anything else to offer. What is anyone who enjoys the story saying besides, wow, it's so different, this is crazy stuff? Nothing, because that's all it offers, and it's cool if that's why you're here. It's perfectly fine to enjoy a show for your own reason. I don't really care about that. It's not my place to please what people like. But to pose it as if it's bigger than mindless violence and edginess and that the character and story are well written is just silly. The story itself has nothing to say. You can literally predict how a scene will end as soon as it's on screen. This is entirely live. You can see I'm recording. He's going to buy a slave. I'm willing to bet my f life. All right, I, I'm willing to bet all of my YouTube subscribers this mother is about to find a female slave. I promise I put it on my life. He's probably gonna look around. He's gonna see a bunch of slaves in caves that are all uh, in cages that are all scared. Ooh, and then he's gonna find like a, a female beast girl. Double points if it's a lolly. He's gonna find like a like a, a scared beast girl to f and he's like, oh, this one looks good at combat. <laughs> Watch. Oh! Strike one, baby! No, nope, he's male, not her. Him. Uh, she doesn't have that many bright colors. Not her. Oh! Let's fucking go! It's too easy. This show's stupid. Every character here is a one-dimensional evil person for the sake of being evil. There is no depth to why people do what they do. By the way, unscripted, there's not a single likable character on this entire show. The princess locks Kiaru up in a sex dungeon because she's a bit of a mean person, and every single person in the kingdom is super down with it. Why? Why is the main chick you're supposed to hate the hottest character on the show? Why did the author make the main characters come magic? Why are there so many scenes of the character being wrestled? The answer is simple. It's because this show is weirdo shit. I'm not saying you're weird for watching it or blah blah blah, who cares. I'm just letting you know that the people who this anime is made for are into the sort of wrestling fantasy. That doesn't mean if you're watching and enjoying it you need to seek help. And even if you're into this type of thing, who cares? There's been hentai out there with far worse plots for years that no one seems to care about. It's only suddenly a problem when it's in anime form. On television, which is easily accessible by children. Yeah, as I'm editing, I, th I think I kind of caught that one. Uh, bad point right there. I'm just bringing this up to explain that every element in the show is just a mechanism to execute the weird shit. His cum is magic. That's so everyone in the show can take advantage of him. It could have been his piss, spit, blood, nope, it had to be baby gravy because the author had a choice. Could he just do it in a jar? No, they have to take it from him. Why? Because this gives them an excuse to act out the intended viewer's fantasy on the totally super hot girl and future girls. The characters are as evil as possible for no real reason that we see on screen specifically so this plot could work. You could have just milked the guy and left him alone. That actually, that actually sounds kind of nice. Just milk me and leave me the fuck alone. And I know that the intended viewer is supposed to be in full wish fulfillment kink mode because why else does he get a harem later in the series? I want you to tell me. Maybe I'm tripping. He goes around finding unrelated innocent chicks and turns them into his toys via slavery or drugs to make them more suggestible later in the manga. You might say, oh, it's human nature. Of course he's getting a harem because they made him crazy. Really? Thank you, Freud. I uh, appreciate your input. I'm just not really convinced. Now you might be thinking, come on, scam, you're crazy. It's about revenge, it's original and different than everything else. It has nothing to do with a power fantasy or some weird fetish. Nope, oh, we're getting a comment. Damn, he was very brutal, but then again, she did make him suffer a lot. I would have done the same thing myself, to be honest. <laughs> huh. Seems like a little discrepancy. A big discrepancy, actually. Wait a second. Again, I'm not saying anyone who watches this is weird or wrong. That's stupid. I'm not even saying that the people who are watching it for the kinky business are weird or wrong. Out loud. I am saying that it's not intended to be anything more than senseless revenge hentai. That's who it's made for. It just so happens that you can find it entertaining for a few different reasons. The torture scenes that aren't sexual are pretty funny for me to watch personally. So the revenge can definitely be fun. But that's it. Fun. The show isn't deep, the main character isn't complex, and almost every other element like the magic, the villains, etc. are thrown in there as an excuse to show you more crazy stuff. You can like the show in spite of that. Just quit saying that it's deep, and quit saying that it's only getting downvoted because people are sensitive. Just kidding, it doesn't really matter. People can have their own opinions. I'm gonna tell you mine, and maybe you'll be like, hey, 
I really haven't seen anyone trying to cancel the show personally. And now that I think about it, why does healing magic have to come out as ween hole and make people level up? Huh. Or maybe your opinion's actually like, wow, he didn't do close to any research. There's a hashtag and everything for people trying to get the show off the planet, and then I'm gonna get proven wrong. But that's just my very quickly written thoughts that hopefully you like listening to even if you don't agree. If you like this video, subscribe or comment, I reply to those. We're also doing a video that takes more than three days to complete next week on an anime I actually like. What? Crazy! So yeah, see ya.